Morning world, another beautiful day up here in paradise and I think it's about time I give me bike a wash, it's, it's been a while so let's get on and give me bike a wash, roll the intro. Hi, Hippie Trev here and welcome to my channel, um, hope you get something out of it. Rightio, I guess I better go and get me bike. Verge still not sold. So that was a pretty full on day, you say, riding down to um, Gympie. Um, pretty hectic on the road. Certainly a few iffy people on the road there. Nearly got taken out by a few cars and so forth. But anyway, we, we made it down and back safely. Um, and yeah, I think it's um, probably about time might just get rid of a couple of these cords. I'll just hang that one up over here. Give the bike a wash. A uh, bit of a shout out to um, number one fan, Oscar. Hey mate, how's it going? Pete tells me you like to hear your name called, so howdy Oscar. And they open you for a little bit in uh, fast Jimmy. And Adam, how you going mate? Brother Ross, everyone else? Hope you're all doing good in these crazy times. So that's the new look at the seat. I like it. I really do. I really like that seat. Alright, so I might start up front. Give a bit of a wash down. So, I don't know if you can get the full spectrum of the bike now, she's had a wash. It brings out the full colour of the bike. I'd noticed with these GoPros, you can't get, the colour of the bike just doesn't come out. It's a real crimsony red. Uh, the paint works awesome. This is not stickers and wrap around. This is actually hand professionally uh, airbrushed and painted. It's a one-off, uh, allegedly, by a man by the name of Ollie. Allegedly, so the story goes, because this is an American import, the guy who actually done the artwork on this bike, his name was Ollie, someone, I can't remember his last name, and he was, allegedly as the story goes, he was the graphics art designer for Star Wars. So that's the story of this bike, apparently. Um, I've got no way of verifying it, um, and I don't know, if the color of, you can actually pick up the full color of this bike um, on the GoPro. Sometimes the colors just don't come out right. So anyway, that was a quick wash down of the bike. It does look heaps better, a little bit shinier. I do have some steel soap buds in there and I've got a container of grump, which um, I might go over and clamp a bit more of the chrome a bit later. I'll just let it dry off first. But it has been needing it. Um, it has been needing a wash down. So, yeah. So maybe I'll bring the boat out, give it a wash as well. It's um that sort of day up here. I should probably be putting it on the. I might put it on the lawn and give it a wash. Um, look around. I'm just going to quick run around with the whippersnapper to trim up the few bits of grass. But look at my backyard. There is no backyard. Well, there's a backyard, but it is absolutely dead. We. We are screaming for rain up here, absolutely. Definitely, we are screaming for rain. So right here, I think I um, might get the boat out of the shed.
up here, we don't wash in town water. You cannot drink the town water up here. That's why we have to have tanks. The town water is basically poison. You probably shouldn't even be sharing it, but my tanks aren't big enough. But yeah, you, can, you do not wash your car in town water up here. You just don't do it. All right, so that's uh, the bike and the boat washed. Um, as you can see, well, you can't see at the moment, but as you can see, Pete, uh, your chromies, they're slowly starting to lose all their chrome look. You can also see stripes in my bonnet. When the guy painted the bonnet here in town, I said, what's wrong with my bonnet? He said, oh, I ran out of paint, and that's the best to say. That's a $150 paint job right there. So there's like dark lines running through it. He never... He ran out of paint, so that's as much paint as I got on the bonnet. And there's like you can just see streaks all the way through it. Um, thanks, Pete, for the prim badge. Um, yeah, so the chromies are, they're slowly starting to lose their chrome appeal, and I don't know if you can see, probably because it's still damp, but more so on the back. The Queensland sun. Um, is no friends to anything left out in the sun. Um, all the clear coat's gone completely from the back here. There's a little bit of left, but the clear coat's coming off everywhere. Uh, down where the prem sign is, you can see the clear coat is just, it's just coming off absolutely everywhere. Uh, this side of the car as well, the clear coat's coming off. So cars that do not get to spend time in sheds up here in Queensland, they certainly uh, pay for it. Uh, all my stickers. That's my new one, Eureka Stockade. You're going to ride my ass, at least pull my hair. Well, that was more appropriate when I had a ponytail, which I don't have now. Um, you can't buy a happiness, but you can buy a HK, and that's kind of the same thing. Well, it's kind of the same thing, like owning a bike. And just my uh, YouTube channels that I follow, just some of them. Still waiting for a few more stickers. So, anyway, world, that's the, uh, the boat washed. She needs a good vacuum on the inside. Still looks good for a, what is it, 53 year old car. This car is 53 years old and still looks pretty good. So, Rodeo Wells, uh, Rodeo Oscar, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I might scoot down the street later on the bike, but I won't be filming that. I'll go and drop some eggs off to a friend. Um, yeah, it's still morning up here, but a beautiful day up here in sunshine. Uh, I've had quite. I'm certainly getting quite a few phone calls on Verge. No one's actually come out to see him yet, but I'm certainly getting all the inquiries. Um, one bloke wanted to swap me this $8,000 bike for him. I said, mate, you're, um, I don't think that's a good idea. So if you want this bike, sell yours and then come back and have a look at mine. I wouldn't, there's no way someone's gonna swap this. Here was a beautiful Kawasaki, massive big thing. And I, mate, you, wouldn't, you would not swap an $8,000 bike for this. You just wouldn't do it, it's just unheard of, so. 
anyway. And yep, my bike looking all nice and clean. Like I said loving, loving my new, loving my new fuel caps. I really do like them. I think they're cool. Get them on the right way. Yep. So loving my new fuel caps. So yeah, we actually we went through this bike the other day when I was down at Darren. So so the rear wheel when my back wheel collapsed. So. Okay, so this has got a fair bit of slaughterhouse cycle stuff on the bike from uh, Darren down in Gympie. So we'll start with uh, the controls up here, so like the master cylinder and the brake control and the hand grips, they're from Darren. The rear wheel, when the back wheel of my bike collapsed, um, cost me $700 to get that wheel in there, but I bought that off Darren. Uh, the motor, I bought that off Darren. The seat yesterday, I bought that off Darren. Oh, okay. Come around this side. Then we have our dash pad, dashboard, speedo, all from Darren down in Gympie. And of course yesterday, the, um, the two fuel caps. So there is a fair bit of, oh, uh, also, forward controls I bought off Darren because this had floorboards on it so the forward controls not so much the gear lever but the forward controls uh, the brake master cylinder that makes this brake work that's from Darren down in Gympie my mate Stewie made up the peg extensions but the actual forward controls this bracket here and the foot peg on both sides they're from Darren down in Gympie as well so there's a fair bit of cycle, um, slaughterhouse cycle stuff um, on my bike that come that did actually come from Gimpy that did actually come from Darren down in Gimpy. So the, yeah it's um he calls it the slaughterhouse bike so there's quite a few of his parts on this bike. But anyway Alright Ronnie oh well so that'll about do it for this video. Uh, I need to get down the street and do a little bit of shopping and go and drop these eggs off so as always stay safe keep your knees in the breeze and I'll catch you later. Bye.